So stand up paddle boarding is one of the fastest growing water sports around. Now, Rocky, is there anything we need to know before we go out? Nah, Trixie, we just live in that sub life. No worries. Not so fast. Oh man, didn't see you there. I'm glad I got the signal. You know, stand up paddle boarding is a great experience, but there's some things that you must remember. He's the man, got no discernible superpower, but on the lake he's the man of the hour because he knows everything about boats. First things first, choose your life jacket to meet your carriage requirements, and I recommend you wear it. And if it's a child under 13 years old, they have to wear it. Remember, many inflatables have to be worn to meet the carriage requirements, and it's always a good idea to wear it anyway. The U.S. Coast Guard requires you carry a means of making an efficient sound signal, like this whistle. A human voice sound is not sufficient. And if you're out after dark, you need to be able to display a white light with enough time to prevent a collision. A flashlight will do its job. And a compass is a good idea if you're going to be out on a large body of water. And finally, you should familiarize yourself with the navigation rules because they apply to SUPs just like other boats. Follow these rules, use common sense, and have a fantastic day on the water. <laughs>